Hi, my name is Elle and I am learning to be a seamstress. Today is part de numero dos, number two, of my fabric stash haul. I hope you enjoyed part one. Thank you for sticking around. Let's just crack straight on. So the first couple are pretty boring, so let's ease on past those. But I have a meter of black cotton because I always need it. I, th I say that, I've had that for so long and I've never needed it. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze, bless me. Okay, I've got a meter of navy linen. I think I got this in a, like a mystery fabric box, um, but it is really lovely and soft. I also bought, um, why did I just buy meters of everything? I bought one meter of this really soft, light denim colored cotton, which I know I wanted to make a summer top with and just haven't got around to it, I think. I always just get drawn to my really bright, colorful, patterned fabrics, and I just leave these guys behind. But actually, when I go to my wardrobe, I do dress in more subdued colors and patterns like when I go to work, so I do need more plain colored fabrics. So I should be using these. The next fabric is quite a big remnant. It's this pink duchess satin, which I used for my final project at college, which was to design, create the pattern and sew a skirt. And I made a big pleated duchess satin skirt, which was fully lined. But I, ha I bought like six meters of it and I think I have a good two meters left of it. Now I don't really know what to make because I chose this fabric because I wanted it to be very luxurious, like a very going out like wedding style skirt. And obviously not sure if it's gonna fit into like my day-to-day -day wardrobe. So I need to have a look online, look on Pinterest and see if there's anything more day-to-day -day that can be made out of Duchess satin so that hopefully I can make something wearable. Um, I also love this fabric. It's got boobs on it. I have a meter of this. I bought it to use as statement pockets for some dungarees I was making. So I made orange dungarees with boob statement pockets. But um, actually running, well, I'm training for a half marathon at the moment, which I'm running in October for breast cancer charity. And maybe this would be cute if I make like my like um, drawstring bag to keep all my things in. If I make it out of that, and then I can maybe take a photo of it or like put it on my fundraising page. That might be a really good idea. I've just thought of that. Maybe I'll make like a little running pouch. Yeah, cool. Speaking of running, my next two fabrics are athletic fabrics. I did buy them last summer um, when I was getting into running again, thinking, oh, I'll make some leggings because I'm running all the time. And then I just didn't, this is just like a classic trait of mine, getting carried away and then not doing something. But these are a lovely mint fabric, um, a lycra with a good stretch. And I think they'll make a lovely pair of leggings or maybe a top because I do sometimes struggle with light colored leggings that like you can see my underwear or the sweat. So maybe that'll be a nice top. And then perhaps I'll make the leggings out of this really bright orange um, lycra which would look fantastic. I just need to make sure that I make them in the correct size because there's nothing worse than running and having to constantly like pull up your leggings or whatever. Like it is genuinely my worst nightmare because I just cannot focus on the running and running is not enjoyable at the best of times. So I need to have good fitting athletic wear. So that is a priority. I really should get cutting that out. Once I if I have a day where I just cut loads of things out, it does put me on the right track. So every time I have a spare hour or a half hour before or after work, I can just come to my sewing machine, grab something that's pre-cut and then just start sewing a little bit. So this afternoon, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll cut up a few new garments. Okay, moving on. This is another remnant. Um, this was the cotton canvas that I bought from Ikea, which made my trusty dungarees, which I absolutely love. I also made um, some oven gloves with this, but I don't think I did them very well because they don't feel like as safe as I want them to feel. <laughs> um, but maybe this would make some nice home furnishings. My partner and I are moving into a flat, which we are currently buying um, in the next few months. Ah! 
that. So depending on my color scheme, maybe this would make some cool cushions or I don't know. I just love the fabric so much. I don't want to throw it away because I will find a use for it. My next fabric is from Rainbow Fabrics and it's a viscous and it's from um, their dead stock collection from the fab from the fashion brand Nobody's Child. And I saw a photo of Fern Cotton wearing a dress in this, this is exact fabric from Nobody's Child. And it looked incredible. And I kind of just want to replicate that. Um, I just think it's so lovely. I worry that the white is going to be super see-through, but it was dead stock. It was like, I always feel good when I buy dead stock um, because you know that it's helping in some small way. But yeah, I would love to make a very nice summer dress. I keep saying summer dress like we're ending summer. I'll just say dress. Um, but yeah, maybe just the copy of the one that Fern Cotton wore. I love the big black hearts. I think it's such a bold print. I'm a big fan. And then lastly, I have this remnant, which I got from a market in Amsterdam. And I have made a shirt out of this. It's, I think it's a poly cotton, but it is very soft. I'm thinking because it is a small remnant, maybe I'll make some nice pajama bottoms or um, just something small, maybe even a wash bag. I don't really want to throw it away because I do love the print of it. Um, there's probably about half a meter, maybe 75 centimeters, maybe not enough for pajama shorts, but definitely going to keep this one because I'm a big fan. Actually, I'll just do another one. So my auntie um, asked me to make her a pink skirt and she chose this pink fabric, so I need to just make it for her because I have not, and that makes me a bad niece. So, sorry, Auntie Karen, I will get this made soon. <sighs> and that's part two over and done. Part three coming soon. Thank you.